everyone welcome back to my channel my name is brady i never introduced myself that's so it feels so weird to say my own name yes but we're continuing our avatar the last airbender live action ai generated image creation i don't even know what this series is called we're continuing it last time we did ang this time we're going to do katara so the program i use for this is stable diffusion if you'd like to learn how to install this program onto your computer i'll leave a few tutorials in the description and again this took me multiple days which is why my hair and clothes are going to be different in just a second Okay, here we are in Stable Diffusion. I already have all the prompts put in. So I have Qatar from Avatar's Airbender. Canon EOS Mark for 85 millimeter and portrait are there to like make it a person, like a live action person. And then where Gio and Dio is Katara, that's just using Gio and Dio as like the likeness for Katara. So we're gonna see what it generates. Um, all of this stuff like, we're gonna see. We're just gonna see how, what it does. Oh my goodness. Okay, you know what? These are so... These start out weird, okay? But so far, I mean... Ooh, I don't know about that. I don't know about that. Um, Like, the hair, it's just... I feel like we're gonna really struggle with, with the hair. I already know. I already know this. I already know it. We're gonna really struggle. Okay. Oh my god. Okay, these are like... What, are, what is going on? These don't feel like the first one felt more like Katara than all of these. I guess what is this? Oh my god, that one's so creepy. Okay, I don't think we're in the right direction really. Um You know, I mean some of these aren't so like oh my god, they look terrifying. These ones are way weirder than the Aang ones. Oh my god, these are so creepy. I don't like these. <laughs> I don't like these. Oh my god, they are so scary. What is this one? That one that makes no sense. You know what? This is like probably the closest that we've gotten. I'm gonna see if I can like go into InPaint and try to figure something out. Okay, so here we are on day two. Now I made a lot of progress, to be honest, last night without recording. And I feel like I finally got like the loops on her hair, like as good as it gets, it's gonna get. And I used an app on my phone called Pixar just to like edit the photo a little bit to make it look a little more like Katara. Honestly, I feel like Katara has been a little more challenging to get right than Aang, just because there's a few more elements that are like there with Katara, like especially the hair loops. Like it's just, I had to do a lot of tweaking and in paint to try to get like this kind of hair loop and it still doesn't even really look like a hair loop but it's okay we're working with it i feel like for this for today what i'm going to try to do is nail like her clothing because i i mean the clothes are fine i guess like it looks kind of like it could be katara but i want it to be more distinct and memorable from like the show so that's going to be what i'm going to try to do and hopefully like the hair will just remain the same. I might go into InPaint and just like try to keep the hair the same because honestly the hair changes so much and this is like the most guitar I've gotten it so far and it took like actually going into the editor and like changing around things and okay as you can see like it depends on how much the noising as like I didn't realize this noising was already it was all the way all the way up it yeah which should probably be like around three but if you put the denoising up a lot, like it completely changes. Like it looks like a completely different person. So we're just trying to remain the same. Let's see how it goes. Okay, and as you can see, this one's a little bit better, but it's still missing like a lot of the details. I honestly, like, I just like the hair in this one the best. Like I feel like it was the most accurate generated wise. And I know it's still like not perfect guys. I know, I know, I know but we can actually like fix it all up. I might need to like actually use an image of Katara. I can't just rely on my memory, but maybe we should turn the denoising even lower. Okay, and as you can see, this one looks a lot more like what the original looks like. I just, what I really don't like about the way the AI generation starts to kind of, it looks almost like cartoony and maybe that's because I used Katara from Avatar's Airbender. So it's like trying to reference 
cartoons to like do it. I just feel like I don't like that it looks it looks kind of like fake, right? That's the one thing about AI generated art. Okay, I feel like I'm getting to the point where it's starting to look a lot like Katara. I'm feeling a lot stronger about these ones than I was about Aang. I mean, again, they're not, like, perfect. Like, it's very hard to get, like, photo accurate, you know, images that are, like, supposed to be after the Last Airbender characters. But I feel like these are, these are looking, like, actually pretty good. Like, which one is, like, these are looking pretty, I mean, the eyes are, like, very weird. It's weird. When you get, when you try to make, like, blue eyes, ugh, it gets weird. I'm probably going to start generating a little bit longer and then pick, like, one that I feel like is the very best. And then these are all of the images that I generated up to this point. I feel a lot more confident with how Katara turned out than how Aang turned out, if I'm being honest. I feel like for me, getting the arrow right was like the only thing that really mattered while I was doing Aang, and it was very, very challenging just to get like an arrow shape. This one feels like there's more elements of it that feel like Katara. Yeah, so I'm pretty happy with the end result. Okay, if you guys enjoyed this video, please go ahead and leave a like, leave a subscription if you want to see more of AI generating Avatar Last Airbender content. These have been very random videos, like to be honest, I just did it because I just think it's fun to like use this AI software. I feel like it's very advanced, to be honest. Like it does look like a, like a lot like Katara, if I'm, but I'm sure the Avatar Netflix live adaptation is going to do even better. But if they want to hire me, no, I'm just kidding. I'll have to ha hire the AI because all I did was just put in prompts. But jokes aside, I do feel like there are, you know, a lot of challenges when you're trying to make AI art. Like it's a lot better if you can go in and like edit the image yourself to kind of get it to the place you want to get it to. I feel like doing it that way is a lot easier to get to that final result that you want to see. Right? And I definitely had to use a photo editing app on my phone for Katara. Like I had to change a lot of different stuff, like especially her hair loopies. Like those were like the hardest thing to, to really get. I don't know if it was more challenging than the arrow, to be honest, but next time I'm going to do Sokka. If you guys want to see that, again, leave a like, leave a subscription. It really helps out this channel. And I will see you guys all in my next video.